local businesses. The cities uh, will continue to have all the regulatory power that they have always constitutionally had. What they're doing is taking away that ability for the cities to do what's in their best interest. Unless the courts step in on this law, it is set to go into effect on September 1st. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service proposed listing two species of Texas freshwater mussels as endangered. Both the Salina Mucket and Mexican Fawn Spood are found in the Rio Grande. Environmentally safe dams and habit destruction have con contributed to their decline. You can read more about this proposal on BorderReport.com. Life can be tough sometimes, but of course, there's one event that can always help build confidence and strength. We need to go through those challenging times. Danielle has all the details about it and how, you know, we can just grow as people. I know life can give you lemons sometimes like we learned in yesterday's show, yes, right? for sure. <laughs> but it's okay. We can make lemonade and that's what this event is all about, Natasha. So basically, I'm talking about the Building Resiliency event and, base, and, and it's one big empowering communities conference for everybody in our Rio Grande Valley to attend. Now, the event's going to focus on a variety of topics like cybersecurity, drug trends, home safety, emotional well-being, and so many other topics. It's a chance for attendees to really just hone in on the interpersonal skills that they have and make them better equipped for handling life's demands and better able to overcome any natural challenges that do come with the ups and downs of a family life, a career life, relationship life, and beyond. We'll be able to learn about different tools and resources that are on the market, uh, which are going to be able to help us get to the point of confidence when it comes to overcoming obstacles. Plus, we're going to be able to learn how to empower others here in our community by building a long lasting legacy there locally. Not only that, but we're going to be able to take tips and key concepts from others who've been there and done that just to implement into our own lives. Now we're talking local entrepreneurs, local businesses and gurus and local education leaders and thinkers and all of them are going to be on site at our service. So it's all happening at the Double Tree Suites in the city of McAllen. That's off of 2nd Street this Thursday and the event's going to kick off bright and early at 8 30 in the morning <laughs> lasting until 5 p.m. So plenty of time to drop on by and check it out and you can visit their website just there on their screen to get all the info on how you can take part in your journey to a more resilient life. So guys I love this because you know issues come up in life at work with our siblings. I fight over the remote with my sister all the time. You know things <laughs> happen but this is our chance to learn how to be resilient and overcome those struggles. Yeah, those are sure. big struggles. <laughs> right. I definitely, one thing to overtake those struggles, it's always, uh, sometimes it's always a little bit of a hassle to wake up in the morning. It oh, is yeah. tough. I know. I set like three alarms and even then I'm like, oh, I don't know. I know. I once looked at your alarm, so you had alarms like every other five minutes. So you if anybody knows what alarms it's Danielle. Goodness. I set an alarm for taking vitamins, for going to the facilities, like for everything. Literally. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? Right. For sure. <laughs> sometimes it really does help. But yeah, you know, if we can mm -hmm. grow as people and help others grow as well, you know, why not learn? Yeah, for sure. Especially in the business world. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's tough, but sure. we can do it. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> As far as our weather forecast, we are expecting those conditions to remain mostly warm and muggy right now. McAllen at 80 degrees, southeast winds at 10 miles an hour. Currently out in McAllen, uh, we will see those muggy conditions still play a role of how hot it feels outside. Brownsville right now at 82 degrees with southeast winds uh, at 